Good morning. This is Bob speaking to you from my farm at in the Annapolis Valley of Nova Scotia. As promised, I'm back with my last video that pertains to the building of a, of a Bodger bench. Uh, it's been a really good project. I, I've enjoyed it. Uh, and it, it is surprisingly functional. Uh, it will come apart. I can store it easily. It is extremely strong. Now mind you, a bit heavy. And I do have to put a seat on it because sitting on a 2x6 for an extended period of time is, is a bit difficult to, to tolerate. But uh, I want to keep this uh, this video just very very brief, so I'll take you over and and show you my end product. Uh, I'm sure there's no surprises. Okay, now this is the end result of my excuse me of my Bodger bench. Uh, I did hurry uh, a little bit at the end. Uh, I didn't make the uh, the actual clamping mechanism all that fancy. Uh, I didn't think it needed it and I have tried it out and you know it, it really hasn't been. Uh, so uh, I just want to show you a few of the things that I did add from last time. You remember I put this top piece on and I said gee you know that wobbles because there wasn't enough surface space underneath. Well what I did was, you see along here all the way along and hooking into these brackets I put two by fours, one on this side one on this side. So it, it's given me uh, well what's that work out to be? Three one and a half four and a half inches of uh, surface space for the two by six to sit on. So this is glued and screwed now uh, every, every part for that matter is and it's really good and strong. Um, let me see the, uh, the cheese block is one piece. Uh, cut it out of the four by four. Works very well. I just I just uh, kind of played around with it and found uh, a good height for me to do my work with a draw knife and uh, cut this to the right shape or more or less and. Yeah, you know, it works good. It works really good. Uh, I was really surprised at the gripping power of, of this uh, uh, clamping piece. If you, just with my hand, if I pull that down against that stick, you can't move it. It's really, really good. This old technology is, uh, is, is really something. Uh, as far as a hinge is concerned, on the ramp, I just used a standard T hinge. I did have to route out uh, a little knuckle hole uh, in this uh, top plate uh, for for the hinge, but th that was no problem. It sits it sits level. Uh, if need be, I, I can tip this way up, or it will it will lay flat, which helps out with storage. And as you recall, that was a very important aspect of the whole thing. So that's my bodger bench. I am going to put a seat on it. Uh, there's a little lip under here, same lip on the other side. So I'm going to get a bracket. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I have some in, in, the, in the shop that I can attach to the bottom of the seat and just let it slide along this, this little lip here. It, it'll, it'll allow the seat to be uh, mobile but it won't come off. Uh, or if I want to take it off for storing, for example, I can just slide it off the back and uh, hang it on the wall. So that's my Bodger bench. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I, I know that the second uh, video was far too long, but uh, I did want to explain those angles. There are a few more tweaking uh, projects to do here, but uh, I won't show them to you. You all get the idea. I hope of, of what it was I was trying to accomplish. So we'll see you around the next time uh, for, for my next project. Uh, oh, by the way, one thing. My son-in-law, Steve, 
uh, decided that this, although good, uh, he, d he has another application. He is an architectural draftsman. So he made up his rendition of a bodger bench. And I'm going to try to just tack it on to the, uh, to the end of this video and let you have a look at it. If you like it, I'm sure you get in touch with Steve and he'll, he'll send you all the specifications. Have a good day.